welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new i'm sharon renee what's up um today we're going to be doing a tutorial on these passion twists that i have right here so if you want to see how i got them and all of that stuff then just keep on watching bam i will never do my hair like this ever again in my life never 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 dog never this has taken me i feel like this is taking me forever i feel like this is taking me longer than when i do braids and i also don't like the way it looks and i just feel like it looked like noodles or something like i like i'm just really not featuring this style and i feel like i kind of wasted my time but i figure you know what why not just get this on video i mean i had intentions on filming it anyway um but i just gotta tell y'all i will never do my hair like this again first of all my hair is growing okay i cut my hair less than a year ago and it's growing but what i do is spray it spray my ends with this water and like it's a little bit of conditioner in here and oil so i spray that then comb through. I add some of this um twist this twisting something. It's by Miel. Miel, I think I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's twisting souffle. I believe that's what it's called. I add that to the ends. So we have a little moisture, you know. Um, and I also wanted to do this because I feel like my hair just will not blend in with this hair. So like this is the only way to kind of like semi blend my hair in. Um, so this is the hair that I'm using. I got like three strands. Like I use like three strands each uh like piece but the thing that i had i used two different types of hair so i used um the water wave and this is the bohemian wave i don't like the bohemian wave because it's harder to like separate um because it's kind of hard for some reason like i don't know why but it like like it got some hard pieces like this piece is hard as heck so like trying to separate it and I made the mistake of getting this hair because I wanted to try it out I wanted to see what the difference was and if I if they kind of give the same look or you know which was better blah 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 but I don't like this and this is like the only hair that I have left um, I actually ran out of hair, but we'll get to that. Um, so then I just take the hair like this. Um, I am braiding mine first because as I said, my hair just really don't mesh well with this texture. Um, so I find that like braiding it and it's very loose. So I feel like if I didn't braid it, they would just fall off like legit. Um, so I'm literally going to do it. I'm going to do this one first. So I'm literally going to do it like a braid at first. Um, grabbing onto that and starting to braid. Ooh, Jesus, that's another thing that I don't like about this hair. It is so tangly, like I said, because it's hard to get it apart. And I guess because I'm braiding and not just twisting that it's harder to detangle it like when I'm trying to. But girl, I do not like it. So then I just separate it into two. Twist as I twist. Twist as I twist. Twist as I twist. And I'm pulling and twisting. Pulling, twisting, and twisting. Pulling, twist twist I messed that up <laughs> pulling twist twist pulling twist twist 
twist twist and then I add some gel so that my hair is not sticking out too bad I mean it's going to stick out but so it's not sticking out too too bad I just add the gel on and then twist it down and I'm trying to like not tangle the hair so I'm trying to grab at like what's already naturally separated but this hair is very very tangly and like I said I'm not sure if it's just because I'm braiding and then twisting but I'm not featuring this hair um I wish I would have got more packs in a water wave but anyway so I'm gonna twist that all the way down it don't have to be perfect because this hairstyle is so messy it's not even funny and I'm gonna cut this off like this little straight piece like well I just ripped it down but like for the other ones I was just cutting it off because I find that when you pull this hair it turns straight like so yeah I'm literally just twisting that down and I know a lot of people will stop twisting at a point and then just start coiling and that's probably why it took me long too because I twisted it all the way down to the ends because I just didn't like the way it looked when I would not twist it down and stop and coil you it looked very poofy and kind of nappy um and I just didn't like that I'm gonna repeat the process so here we go Okay, so real quick, um, I'm about to go take a shower, but I have a lot of pieces in here that are just like my regular hair twisted out um, because I ran out of hair. Fam, I literally, yesterday I bought five packs of hair because I just thought that five packs would be enough. I have an undercut. I don't understand why it wasn't enough. Okay, but it wasn't enough. I went back to the beauty supply store earlier today. I got three more packs. And that still wasn't enough. So I have a lot of just regular my hair twisted under here. Because I'm literally not even going to keep this in for that long. I'm taking it out Friday. Yeah, I used 8 packs of hair and that still wasn't even enough. Um, and it took me about like 8-9 hours. Um, I was up all night. And then I ran out of hair. And then I went to sleep for a couple of hours. Got up and finished it. Um, so I'm slightly cranky and tired. But, I just don't like the way this looks. It looks like noodles or something. Like, I like I don't like it. And it's not like, well, I don't like it on me. Let me say that. Because I think it looks cute on other people. I just don't like it on me. I don't like how it looks on me. Like, I don't know. Maybe after I do my makeup and stuff, I might feel differently. But, like, as of right now, I'm not featuring it. So I've showered and here I am and this is what I've settled on. It definitely looks a little bit better now that I have like my makeup on and stuff and got my edges done. Um, but I'm still taking it out Friday. <laughs> it's uh, Friday right now. Um, and I'm taking this out Friday. Next Friday. Um, okay, so. As I told y'all, I used eight packs of hair. It took me about eight or nine hours. This was... The hair that I use, the Free Trist Braid Crochet and Latch Hook um, Shake and Go. I use a uh, Bohemian Braid 20 inch and then I had the um, Water Wave um, in 22 inches because that was the only length that they had. 
uh, at my local beauty supply store and I use the color TP4-27 in a bohemian braid and then TT27 in the water wave. Um, when I got in the shower, I had it kind of like up into like a ponytail and I think it looks cute like that but my undercut is not cut right now so I can't wear it like that because I need to get my hair cut. Um, but that was kind of cute and um, I'm about to go dance so that's why I got, got it like this so it could be tied down so I don't have to, I can move free and not have to worry about like, you know, but girl. I'm not featuring this. Now, don't get me wrong. I think it's a cute style, but not for me personally. Um, I just can't really get with it. I can't really get with this. And it might also be like my color selection. Like, I just... I really wanted to try the Bohemian um, braid and the Water Wave just to see what the difference was between the two textures because they kind of look very similar. Um and like the curl pattern and I think that the difference between a bohemian braid and the water wave is that the water wave is more fluffy and it's a little thicker and the bohemian braid is really thin and it's hard to separate because it's literally hard like like not even just like hard to separate but the hair is hard or something like it was so it was really hard to separate it was tangling a lot um i really didn't like the bohemian braid so if you're gonna do this style i would recommend that you get the water wave and not the bohemian braid and if they don't got it at your beautiful house store sis go to another one because that bohemian braid i ain't really rocking with shorty like mm -mm. The water wave was good. It was fluffy. It was thick. Um, I liked it. And I feel like had I got more packs of that, then I probably wouldn't have run out of here. My attempt to crack at the passion twist. Uh, I tried it. I mean, I kind of already knew that they weren't for me. But I wanted to just try it out and just see. I was just testing the water. And it was cold. The water was cold and it was too deep um so i'm gonna go um i hope you enjoyed the video i mean i hope it was informative despite the fact that i don't like it for me i think that the technique will work well not that it will work it does work it's just i just don't like the way it looks so um i hope that the video was helpful um i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe <coughs> so i'm trying to take me out don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Good Lord. And enjoy the rest of your week, your weekend, whatever it may be. Peace and blessings.